The UN Security Council has strongly condemned the murder of 108 men, women and children in the Syrian village of Hula. According to initial reports, many of the victims were executed at point-blank range. The Syrian government has flat out rejected responsibility for the murders, saying a third party is behind the slaughter, aimed at destabilizing the situation. Syria's largest and best armed rebel group reacted to the slaughter, saying it won't abide by an international ceasefire unless the UN intervenes. A correspondent Anastasia Churkina has more on the Security Council's response. United Nations Security Council members cut their weekend short to hold a three-hour closed-door emergency meeting on the latest developments in Syria, where on Friday, in uh, the bloodiest massacre since the anti-government clashes started on the ground a year ago, took place where over 100 people were killed, including dozens of women and children. Prior to the meeting, Britain and France were calling for Security Council members to adopt a joint press statement pointing the fingers at the Syrian government. Russia, however, who previously vetoed a regime change resolution on Syria, said it would prefer to wait to hear what the head of the UN observer mission in Syria had to say, and this is why the meeting was adjourned. Now, after the meeting, a joint press statement of United Nations Security Council members was released. The Security Council has condemned these violence, violent killings, which included artillery and tank shellings. The Security Council says this is a breach of international law and breach of serious commitments under United Nations Security Council resolutions. But what's important here is that the Council also condemn, condemned close-range killings, including knives being used to slaughter people. And the key here is that it's not clear as of yet who was behind these close-range killings. And Russia says that the majority of the deaths took place at close range, so it's important to discover who exactly stood behind that. We do know, of course, that the Syrian government has been denying any involvement in this massacre, saying it had nothing to do with it. We have heard from the deputy Russian foreign minister say earlier that uh, a clear and careful investigation into this massacre has to take place and the United Nations Observer Mission is currently conducting such an investigation.